of the end today, we're gonna interview one of the famous cosplayers in the Philippines, and her name is Nika Salazar. Stay tuned! I'm here with uh, Nika Salazar. Okay, uh, before anything else, uh, I met Nika sa Rampage. She was very cute and I'm a fan of her <laughs> since when I'm, uh, I met her last year sa Rampage. So, paano ka nag uh, umpisa as a cosplayer? When did you start it? I started way, way back 2006. My first event was called in uh, Atal Hanep Hero. Wow. During that time, they have previous and all. But um, I started cosplaying because one of my friends back in high school was a cosplayer too. So she introduced me to cosplaying. And there was this one character. I love her so, so much. So, um, and then my sister said that maybe we should try to make you um, like this costume. So after I thought she was joking, but then after a month, actually it was a month, and then sabi niya pa halika dito yung okay. bayan na. Tapos yun meron na. I didn't even know she took my measure. I don't know how <laughs> my auntie was present. So ayun and then from there, so we went to the event. I didn't have anything yet. I only have my costume, not even makeup. I don't. Wow. I don't even have wigs. <laughs> Because I'm a potato during that time. That's how I started. How much does it does it cost you to you know to make all this? Na maging kung sino ka talaga pinoportray mo as an anime or video character. Sometimes if I have the wig, na I'll just recycle it for some character. So if I'm lucky, my expense would be from 500, and if I really like it. Um, up to seven thousand. Wow! <laughs> depends. It depends, but not all the time because it's still potato. <laughs> so, really, cos uh, being a cosplayer isn't cheap, right? We all know that. <laughs> but based on the research, if you don't mind me asking, you're a registered nurse. Yes. I'm just curious. How do you say that you cosplay mo in your study? Uh, uh, nursing isn't easy. So um, what I do is that I make it into my inspiration. So an inspiration and then a reward. So for example, every time I will have an exam, I tell myself I need to study. I need to I need to do good because during the weekend I can cosplay. Mm -hmm. So if I don't if I don't do good, I don't go to cosplay. It's like a reward system for me because it makes me happy. You're happy uh, while you're cosplaying, and uh, cosplaying is also your inspiration to study. Yes, very much. And uh, with that, um, since you are ka, right? Again. You, you graduated uh, <laughs> last 2013. I really you. So, is your parents supportive with you on what you're doing as a cosplayer? Very, very much. So, wow. remember when I told um, that it was a reward for me? During my younger days, um, they actually support that kind of reward and if I do good at school, they usually the ones funding <laughs> my costumes. So that's really? how supportive they were. So you're very lucky. Okay? You have a very lucky. supportive uh, parents. You play video games, right? Yes. <laughs> okay. What games you, you normally uh, play? In? I normally play League of Legends. LOL. For, um, for online games and then Right now, during if I, if I have free time, I play Outlast and then this game Little Nightmare. So kind of on the scary side. Okay. <laughs> because as if my grades are not scary enough. <laughs> so it's it's like it gives me some kind of thrill yes. away from school. I also like. 
scary uh, game. Mm -hmm. But in LOL, kasi, I like LOL, but LOL doesn't like me. Who's your favorite character in LOL? Annie. Annie, Annie and Lulu. Cute, cute characters. I'm kasi si Indra. Eh. Yeah, so si Indra. Because she looks really masungit. Yes. Suwit daw ako, so. Yeah, Ties never mind. <laughs> LOL doesn't like me. And since you're doing cosplaying, what drives you? Happiness. Happiness. So. Mm. Happiness. Cosplaying, as I've said, it's a part of me. It's a part of who I am. And it makes me happy. It's not attention seeking. It's I'm purpose driven for this. And I'm happy. And I'm happy that I have friends here. Happy that now it's more acceptable than when I was in high school. High school yeah. Mm -hmm. So, ngayon, ngayon kasi sobrang madami na nag cosplay. Sobrang dami na. And in accept na siya. Yes, yes. During my time, talagang I've, with me and my friends, we've been called weird, we've been outcast. From, we have our own group of our own. People tend to stay away from us because in high school, of course, you can't be different in high school. Because if you're different, they will stay away from you. What are the usual feedbacks that uh, you heard from people? Well, right now, as it's acceptable na. Yeah. Also, medyo okay. Okay na siya. Really, you cosplay and then sometimes you say, what's cosplay? You show them, this is how you do it. And then they say, oh, that's, that's so good. But during, like I said, during my high school days, we've been freaks. It's, it's um, weirdos. And then sometimes it's attention seekers. We are very, very thankful that you're here. You. Uh, mo ang aming invitation. I'm honored. So, yeah. <laughs> so we're very happy with that. Oh, so since ako kasi, this is my last question. Ah. Ako kasi, I want to portray you know, Wonder Woman. And I really want to be a, a, a cosplayer someday. Well, what can you advise to, to me and to all those uh, people who want to try you know, like? cosplayer so um, like I said earlier happiness so you go with the things that you are happy so if cosplaying is what makes you happy you go for it if cosplaying what character you love you go for it for example like me Marjorie Tyrell how can I cosplay her I'm 4'8 <laughs> <Yeah. laughs> I'm 4'8 tall and I you imagine have that. Eight and you have <laughs> uh, so you just go with what and you don't think of others because there will always be people who will criticize what you do Tama. who will rain on your parade so you just have you don't need to go with the flow sometimes you can counter flow but not in the wrong perfect, of course. perfect. <laughs> so that's, well, that, that's my advice okay well yes thank you thank you so much can i hug you <laughs> Well, <laughs> okay, before anything else, again, Mika Salazar as, um, sorry, Hatsume Miko. <laughs>